Welcome back to a video. Today we had a big surprise snow in April. A few days ago the weatherman did say we were going to get snow. Last night I put the plow and salter on the GMC. This morning I awoke to just over 5 inches of snow. We'll be heading out plowing and focusing on residential driveways. We have around 25 driveways to do. Let's get the Duramax warmed up here and let's take a quick walk around of today's setup. This is a brand new 2020 GMC 2500 Denali. I did do a lot of cool features to it, color match the tops of the tow mirrors, uh, blacked out the GMC wheels, a few other things. Up front we have a 9 foot Boss V plow with a 1 foot extensions on either side. It's a very wide plow going down the road. Around back we do have a salt dog tailgate spread, I really do like this a lot, it's very helpful and I already did put a few bags on the inside. Now this GMC here does have the working feature here for the tailgate, that uh, cool fancy new tailgate. Now it does kind of control as I do use the plow and let's get going. Up top here I did put our light bars just suction cupped onto the roof there and the wire comes through that small window. That's pretty cool and it will have the hazard lights on. A few places in the United States right now are getting snow. It's pretty interesting uh, getting snow here in April. Just last week we were starting our leaf cleanups, spring cleanups, everything like that and getting ready for the landscape season but today we are back here uh, putting the plows back to work. I really wanted to do a video here plowing, especially on the new BAP, but I really wanted to uh, showcase this brand new truck that I've been working on. It's an edit of uh, the GMC 3500 that was released a few weeks ago. This is pretty cool. It's a single rear wheel. Uh, there is not a public one, so I put this together, and so far I really do like it a lot. It looks pretty good. Now a lot of snow here, I wasn't really expecting it, I, I would have thought that uh, we just weren't getting it, but uh, more than likely I should have probably went out uh, midway through the storm because it's pretty heavy snow. That's pretty much it here for our driveway, I will come back later today and touch it up a bit. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy, but so far it's been uh, pretty good. Let's do this driveway here. Now this is a pretty big driveway and just a lot of uh, pushing we have to do. Now for each of these driveways, we are getting anywhere from $40 to $50 a push, which is pretty good here, uh, making a lot of money plowing snow. I really do like the new Duramaxes, both the Silverados and the Sahiras, and having a, a 2500 Donnelly is one sweet truck. really do like this a lot, and this truck more than likely we will be adding to the homeowner series uh, to replace our 2020 Silverado. I really do like the single rear wheel, and we really don't need the big dually, and I uh, thought that uh, this would be perfect. I also do like those blacked out GMC wheels, those do look awesome. Pushing a lot of snow here, really putting the new truck uh, to work. Now with this Boss V plow, it does have springs in it, so we do have to travel with it uh, back in the V position or else we'll be completely wearing out and uh, over time the springs will break. Now I have ordered the farm sim control panel here to work with the steering wheel. I can't wait. I actually really want to try snow plowing using that joystick there. I mean that would be pretty cool and definitely increase the wheels and then using the wheel uh, as well for plowing would be pretty awesome. Let's see if we could readjust here, get a little bit better of a passing. It's just so much snow for these trucks. It's awesome that we are able to do so many cool things here in Farm Sim, like plowing snow, and we do have a lot of cool mods. Now these mods are for the PC, not uh, for console. That's a big, big uh, thing that I get in the comments almost every day. Perfect. This driveway came out good. Up next, we'll do the one right across the street. Now,
Now I do plan to do some real life landscaping videos, some cool fun things like that this year. Definitely uh, some other videos maybe with the Subaru as well. Now it does look like the public works came by the town uh, trucks and really did a pretty good job, but it does look like they knocked down a lot of mailboxes, which is pretty funny. Now there is a few more we have to do on the street down at the end. This new map here is currently a work in progress. I really do like the map so far, it's pretty cool, and I really do like all these roundabouts. Now that is a pretty big pile, whoa, I definitely need a plow truck to push this, and let's see, we'll do a little by little, that's just so much snow piled up in front of the driveway. Now this sometimes does happen here with these plow trucks, and I just have to really, oh yeah, look at that, did a pretty good job there cleaning that out. Now I have noticed that the scoop mode here for this V-Plow does not work the best. Hopefully uh, we can get that fixed for the next season and be able to scoop and uh, push a lot of snow that way. That's awesome. Oh yeah, definitely kicking in four-wheel drive here at some points. It almost seems like we're struggling in some areas. A lot of snow we are moving today. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day, and it's some pretty cool sneak peeks on the channel as well. Now, I do plan on doing some multiplayer videos very soon here, which should be pretty cool collabs with some other farms, some YouTubers. I will have to say this is probably one of the coolest plow trucks we've used. It has a really cool spreader on the back. I really do like that small LED light bar up top. The small little features I really, really do like, and it shows uh, the quality of these <laughs> mods. Big shout out does go out to Machine Modding on Facebook for releasing uh, this truck here. This is one awesome truck. Now, this is a private edit, turning it into a similar wheel, but he did release a 2020 Dually Denali. Just pushing snow here, really doing a pretty good job here today. Alright, so this one is done. We'll move to the next. Now, putting the plow in V as we are plowing and driving is pretty helpful. It gives us a little bit more momentum and sometimes even more traction in areas, but uh, so far, I mean, this plow has been really good and really does a good job. Now the best thing to do with snow plowing is to have all of your houses close together. Luckily, all of ours are in the same town, just at different parts, but more uh, than almost all of them are kind of within a mile of each other. A little bit of scoop action here, not the best though, as it doesn't really collect. Now I definitely would like to have the updated 2020 interior here for the trucks. I'm not sure if this is uh, the latest version, but I really, really do like this body style here. It just looks so cool, and having it uh, with a snow plow on the front end just looks awesome. It's nice to have these trucks, but these are meant to work, and that's exactly what we're doing today with it. Perfect, so we got this done. It did take a little bit of extra time. It's just a very unique driveway. It's a little bit smaller and it does have that angle up front there, so that's always a little tricky. We'll turn around and we'll do that one right across the street. Now these roundabouts are a bit tricky as well to plow snow. It's really hard to get turn around. Even ourselves are having uh, a little bit of a tough time turning around there. Now I do believe that the uh, tailgate spreader does work here, so it would be pretty cool to uh, get that working and do uh, use it on some uh, commercial sites. 
I'm very excited though for the steering wheel. I can't wait. It does look like shipping will be delayed a few extra weeks here. So hopefully we can get it uh, within the next month. And I will do a whole video unboxing it, showing you guys uh, the setup and possibly uh, showing it in use as well in the same video. That small light bar looks so, so cool on the top. Definitely we're looking to adding that uh, to some of the uh, landscape uh, trucks as well. The uh, 04 and the uh, Ram, just to be a little bit more realistic as well. That's a uh, pretty good size as well. Not too big, not too small, and it does the job as well. Now, I would like to have the uh, headlights and brake lights as strobes. Those are pretty cool. I actually have seen a few trucks in real life have that. And I really do like it, and we forgot this one here, so we'll do this a few more, and we'll call it a day. This is a pretty big driveway here, and I do believe it's gravel. Let's double check, and no, this one is not. Some of ours are gravel, and we do not want to be putting the gravel as much as we can on the uh, grass. Now I currently am using the controller here for the videos and I really do recommend it but I do believe that having a steering wheel in the entire setup would definitely improve uh, the videos especially the driving, loader arms, everything like that and I am so, uh, so excited. Let's see if we can do a few driveways here and then it will call it a day. It's been a long day so far here for so much plowing we've been doing. This is actually a pretty big one here for us to do. We try to uh, push the snow here and then we'll do a, a one pass a little bit closer uh, to see if we get a little bit more of that. We want to get as much as we can to prevent uh, the uh, customer from having too much shoveling to do. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. And wow, this is a big driveway. The bigger the driveway, the more we charge and the more of these trucks get to work. And I think that's going to conclude today's video. It's been a very busy day here out plowing, and I will continue to plow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're getting to use the brand new GMC Denali uh, to plow snow. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.